greet you all in the highly exalted, wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to the book of Romans, turning our Bibles to Romans chapter 14 and verse 7. For none of us lives to himself alone, and none of us dies to himself alone. Oh, what a beautiful word. And the Lord Jesus said, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Father. In other words, what he's saying is um, that man lives both by the bread he eats and also by the word of God. So in the same way, here Apostle Paul is using this word that he does not live for him alone. In other words, he lives for himself. He also lives for the Lord. He also lives for others. So basically, we ought to recognize that we should have three motives in order to live or to die. The first motive is that we might be better people who will show Christ. We might be people who 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 display Christ, who who are so comfortable to uh, uh, and social and amiable, and uh, people should feel at ease in our presence because we are like Christ, and this is the first reason why we ought to live, that we ought to live. To show who Jesus is and to and to enjoy him and to and to experience him. And secondly, we ought to live to help the society and better the people around us. Do good work, do as much good as possible, meet people's needs, and we should always be able to extend some kind of some kind of resource or help to people around us. Finally, we should be people who are directly given into the cause of the Lord, the heart of the Lord, the pleasure of the Lord, and we might be able to please the Lord. This should be our motive, a threefold motive. The first of all, within us. And the second thing, for people around us. And the third thing is upward, God word. Many a times, we don't live with these three kinds of Understanding, and that's why we are depressed, we are disturbed. If you are so balanced, then in spite of obstacles and hindrances, you can push on. He says, for we live not only for us alone. A very pathetic life is a life that is lived only for itself and not for the good of others and not for the glory of God. That is the most pathetic life that any person can ever live. He might be the most successful person. Nebuchadnezzar did not live for the good of others, neither for the glory of God. He lived for his own glory, he lived for his own uh, appeasement. And finally, we see that he became so miserable that he had to leave and live along with wild donkeys. That is the status. Might not happen really for us, but that is the status. When you are of no good to anybody around you and you are of no good to the kingdom of heaven, What's the use of life? What's the meaning of life? When God created Adam, he said, you'll be useful to the ground, you'll be useful to the animals, you'll be useful to the birds, to reptiles, you'll be useful to me. Oh, when God creates something, he makes it of use to others. So we need to give ourselves as use to others rather than just narrowing upon our own self and thinking that we should live for us. Selfish life is the most unproductive life. And that's why Apostle Paul says we live not only for ourselves, die not only us, for ourselves, but we have something more to achieve. Oh, loving, living, gracious, and only Father. How true. Many a times, oh Lord, we have lived for our own selves and have become miserable and have become pathetic and uh, uh, we have we have drowned into anxiety because we have lived only for ourselves teach us this threefold plan of yours jesus wonderful precious name we pray amen mm -hmm.